Thank you, Tom. First of all, I want to congratulate you and the RPA for a smooth shift from a productive and informative in-person assembly to a productive and informative virtual assembly, all without missing a beat, and that's not easy to do. Today, we're all gathered in cyberspace to celebrate the fourth annual John Zuccotti Award for Leadership. I'm so pleased that Susan Zuccotti, our very dear friend, is in our virtual audience. Away from the COVID-19 crisis, RPA has created a very rich award ceremony. That's because you'll be seeing two stars engage with each other. But I first want to talk about our North Star, who inspired this program. My close friend, mentor, and colleague, the late and truly great John Zuccotti, seen on uh, the left in this picture. Winston Churchill once quipped, we shape our buildings, and afterwards, our buildings shape us. They regulate the course of our lives. John Zuccotti was a builder of relationships, friendships, businesses, foundations, and yes, a builder of cities. John was a lifelong New Yorker and iconic leader, public servant, lawyer, business leader, civic advocate, and philanthropist. John Isaacson, a real estate developer and former U.S. Senator said, in the real estate business, you learn more about community issues. You learn more about life. You learn more about the impact of government than any other profession I know. John Zuccotti was the embodiment of all that. His life in public service, which began in the Lindsay administration, taught him about community issues and government. He was simply Mr. New York, a mostly unsung hero who played a key role in rescuing the city during the fiscal crisis of the 70s. The world continued to benefit from that experience when he moved to the private sector. John was a founder of his law firm, Tufo, Johnston & Zuccotti, and later became a partner in Wild Gottschall & Mangies. Separate from his law career, he became a partner in Olympia & York and the U.S. Chair of Brookfield Properties. From these posts, he became one of the builders of New York and a leading rebuilder after 9-11. Throughout his career, John was that indispensable leader in the growth and development of the region. He chaired the Real Estate Board of New York and was a long-serving member of RPA's Board of Directors and Executive Committee. He guided RPA's work in adding path train access to Newark Airport, promoting redevelopment and public sector improvements around gateway communities, and perhaps most important, by investing in Trans-Hudson Connections. John was a modest man and a, great, a person of great empathy, but he never shied away from making the tough calls. To quote from one of his eulogists, John was a blessing to those who knew him and a champion of those who did not. The entire region is, has benefited from his service. Consequently, the Zuccotti Prize is RPA's highest award for leadership. Today, I'm proud to present the award that bears John's name to another outstanding builder, leader, and public servant, Henry Cisneros. To quote an adage, if opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. Henry has built many such doors to find those opportunities. As the first Hispanic American mayor of a large U.S. city, he served four terms in San Antonio. In that time, he rebuilt the city's economic base and created jobs through impressive uh, infrastructure projects, and downtown improvements. He then took his vision to Washington, where he served as Bill Clinton's Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. During his tenure at HUD, he worked in hundreds of cities where he revitalized public housing and helped achieve the nation's highest home ownership rate ever. Like John Zuccotti, Henry moved from government to the private sector. He served as president and COO of Univision, then he returned to civic service and served as president of the National League of Cities and deputy chair of the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas. Now it's back to the private sector. But Henry is keeping his hand in on infrastructure, too, through American I Partners, where he serves as chair. He's also a principal of Siebert Cisneros Shank & Company, a top-ranked minority-owned investment bank co-founded by the first woman to own a seat on the New York Stock Exchange. Finally, Henry chairs City View Companies, which works for, with leading home builders to create affordable houses. Henry, 
I can't think of a more worthy person to carry on John's legacy than you. I'm now going to turn the program over to Judy Woodruff, who's going to do a deeper dive into your life and your vision. Judy is the anchor and managing editor of the PBS NewsHour, which my family is proud to support. In her 50-year career, she has also reported for NBC, CNN, and PBS. Judy, welcome to RPA. 